Ephesians 6 verse 12 KJV For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In the King James Version it reads, High places. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, Heavenly places. The spiritual wickedness in quotations high places has nothing to do with physical location, but is about status and position as found within the context. Think of quotations high ranking officer. With the new version's translation, you might overlook those of high status figures that are causing spiritual wickedness i.e. CEOs, priests, and popes. Colossians 2 verse 9, KJV For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In the King James Version it reads, In him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Meanwhile, in the new versions it reads, The whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. Or, all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. And so on. The question is, which deity? There are two other references to the word Godhead in the KJV. Other versions remove the word altogether. There is not more than one Godhead. There is no separation of deity within the Godhead. And he is either the deity or he is a false deity. In Isaiah 45 verse 21, the Lord declares, There is no God else besides me. Philippians 3, verse 21, KJV. Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. In the King James Version it reads, Vile body. Meanwhile, in the new versions, it reads lowly body or body of our lowly condition. Where lowly bodies could be in reference to a state, vile bodies means disgusting or morally bad, being the effects of sin. Read Galatians 5 verses 16 to 17 and Romans 7 verse 18. Philippians 4 verse 13. KJV. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. In the King James Version it reads, Christ. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, Him. Through who? Not even worth a name drop. What a powerful verse. And this is how the new versions treat the Lord God Almighty. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 2 KJV That ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. The King James Version reads, at hand. Meanwhile, the New Versions read, has come. If the day of Christ had happened, it would have been obvious as we would go to meet the Lord in the air, and is not something that we will be oblivious of. Has come, or already here, shows it's a past tense or current event, 
in which this is talking about the catching away of the body of Christ, and more. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 9 says, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 6 verse 10 KJV For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. In the King James Version it reads, For the love of money is the root of all evil. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evils. This channel has made a video on this. Just go through the Ten Commandments and understand that pride and self-desire is what fuels the love of money. Money in of itself is not evil. 2 Timothy 4 verse 1 KJV I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. In the King James Version it reads, at. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, and by. Notably, in the Dewey Reims Version with and by, the King James Version makes Jesus' day of judgment to be a definitive moment at Jesus' coming, while the Jesuits turn it into an indefinite time with no distinct moment. Hebrews 1 verse 2 KJV Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. In the King James Version it reads, by whom. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, through whom. Jesus becomes a conduit in the New Versions, not the personal creator of the worlds. Enough said. Hebrews 9, verse 27, KJV, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. In the King James Version it reads, the judgment. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, comes judgment or face judgment. The judgment is an event that is going to happen at an appointed time, according to the King James Version. The other versions make it ambiguous as to when it's going to happen. Hebrews 10 verse 12, KJV. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. In the King James Version it reads, After he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, sat down in perpetuity, or, and took his seat forever, or sat down forever. Psalm 110 verse 1, Titus 2 verse 13, Hebrews 1 verse 13, and Revelation 19 clearly demonstrates that Jesus Christ will not be sitting at the right hand of God forever, but rather he's going to be getting up, riding a horse, and all kinds of stuff in the future during the millennial reign. This can easily support the Roman Catholic doctrine of the Church, 
reigning on behalf of Christ with no physical millennial reign. If you want to see more differences, subscribe to this channel or go to Gumroad and download list. Also on Gumroad is a KJV vs. New tract along with other tracts and content you can download and print. All monetary contributions are appreciated. Thank you for watching this segment and hope this has been to your edification.